Welcome to EPG Patshala. The paper name is Methodology in Research in Sociology and the module name is Survey Research. I am Sudeshna Basu Mukherjee, Associate Professor, Department of Sociology, University of Calcutta. Survey research is the most common quantitative and qualitative method used in social science research. It uses a predetermined set of questions that it gives to the sample. Using survey, one can collect data that can be collected from a large or a small sample. It can be collected in person, it can be collected telephonically and also over the internet. The sample is a representative lot of the population that is otherwise referred to as the universe of study. When the researcher selects the sample that repre represents the universe of study, it gives, it administers on them a questionnaire or an interview schedule as the research requires. Survey research today is very common all over the world and it is used to assess attitude, thought and feeling in a time non-time consuming way and in a very low cost. It can be conducted over large or small population. It can also be conducted in person too. A personal fact, attitude and thought can also be caught through survey research. Today, many different uh, fields of research utilize survey to assess whatever is the context. Sociologists and psychologists use survey to analyze behavior while it is used in a more pragmatic way by the media who use it to assess a candidate before the polls, exit poll mandates or even to assess when there is a product to be launched. Mostly survey is non-experimental. It is used to it is used to utilize the opinion and practices that are there in the system of everyday life. Today, we can say the survey is a very useful tool in social science research. Now we can start explaining what survey research is. While sitting at a waiting room or on a railway station or in a public area and a person comes to you with some papers in the hand and asks you to have a few minutes to talk to him. Then you hardly like to talk to him, but you are taking part in a survey. There is a lot of ways to conduct research and to collect information, but one of the best ways is doing a survey. Survey research is one of the most important areas of measurement in applied social research. Survey research encompasses measurement of procedure that involves asking questions of respondents for collection of information through their response to the questions that are asked. It is an efficient method for systematically collecting data from a broad spectrum of individuals. In fact, survey have become such a vital part of our social fabric that we cannot assess much of what we read in the newspaper or see on the televisions without having some understanding of survey research. Survey research owes its continuing popularity to its resourcefulness, efficiency, and generalizability. A well-designed survey can enhance our understanding of just about any issue. Survey are efficient in that many variables can be measured with substantially increasing the time or cost. They lend themselves to probability sampling from large populations. Thus, survey research is very appealing when sample generalizability is central to the research goal. In fact, Survey research is often the only means available for developing a representative picture of the attitudes and characteristics of large population. Survey also has given us the choice of cross-population generalizability. It is the key concern because they allow a range of different contexts and subgroups to be sampled. The consistency of relationship can be then examined across various groups and subgroups. It might be said that survey are too easy to conduct. Organizations and individuals often decide that a survey will help to solve some important problems. 
because it seems so easy to prepare a form with some questions and send it out, but without careful attention to sampling, measurement and overall survey design, the effort is likely to be a flop. For a survey to succeed, it must minimize the risk of two types of errors. Poor measurement of cases that are surveyed and omission of cases that should be surveyed. Potential problems that can lead to errors of observation stems from the way questions are written, the characteristic of respondents who answer the question, the way the questions are presented in the questionnaire and the way interviewers use to ask the questions. Therefore, a survey is any activity that collects information in an organized and methodical manner about characteristics of interest from some or all units of the population using well-defined concepts, methods and procedures and compiles them such information into a useful summary of the survey. A survey usually begins with the need for information where no data is available or data is insufficient. A survey consists of several interconnected steps which include defining the objectives, selecting the survey frame, determining the sample design, designing the questionnaire or the interview schedule as needed, collecting and processing of data and analyzing and disseminating data and then documenting the outcomes of the survey. Careful probability features, the features for sampling provides the mirror of the features of a large population under study. Judiciously prepared standardized questionnaires and interview schedules can make available data in the same form for all respondents. Yet there are constraints that the survey has. They are budget, professional standards, ethical dilemmas, institutional barriers, maintaining of legal standards, confidentiality and transparency, and technical limitations. In sociology, the word survey refers to the study of population through observation of its members as it has been carried out for ages in the census. In modern times, most surveys use a sample of members to measure population characteristics as defined by Robert Groves and others in the book titled Survey Methodology 2004. The survey is a systematic method for gathering information from a sample of entities for the purpose of constructing quantitative descriptors of the attributes of a large population of which the entities are members. Survey are a method of social research that is perhaps most frequently used mode of reflection on everyday life when researchers wish to examine a given social problematic by questioning and asking specific individuals who are the object of research, representative sample by means of a standardized questioning method with the aim of studying the connections among the variables. The key difference between experiment and survey is that survey does not require a pre-test measure and the independent variable is typically a naturally occurring phenomena rather than being, ma being manipulated by the researcher. Furthermore, the survey does not have a control group for the purpose of comparison. Let's say the researcher was interested in knowing about the attitude towards female feticide in the city in which the researcher lives. The researcher decides to conduct a survey. Random sample of 800 couples from fertility clinics, public and private, are drawn with the use of patient's registration list. Questionnaires are then mailed to the 800 couples in order to assess their attitudes concerning female feticide. The result obtained from the survey questionnaire are processed, analyzed, interpreted and documented as the survey outcome. An important point to note in the survey design is that the data collected after the fact or ex post facto. In other words, the attitude towards female feticide were established long before the respondents came to the clinic and before the survey were made. The survey does not usually attempt to measure behavior or attitudes prior to the introduction of an independent variable. Instead, the independent variable, in this case female feticide and other naturally occurring variables such as age, socioeconomic status, religiosity, gender, all may have an impact upon the dependent variable that is attitude towards female feticide. The task of the sociologist is to assess which variables are more highly associated with the dependent variable and to explain why these variables are correlated. Thus survey is a quantitative research project in which a relatively large number of people are interviewed 
each being asked a standard set of questions posed in the same way each time. It is a method for collecting information or data as reported by the individual. This is a type of data collection known as self-reported data, which means that individuals complete the survey themselves. For example, if the researcher wants to collect information about what classes students enjoy most, he or she may create a survey that has different types of questions on it pertaining to the enjoyment of classes, pass it out to the students and ask them to complete it. The students respond to the questions themselves and give the data back to the researcher. The responses are then analyzed and interpreted. Therefore, survey is a method of collecting data in a consistent way. Hence, survey can be defined, quote, the collection of data on a number of units with a view of collecting systematically a body of quantifiable data in respect of a number of variables, which are then examined to discern patterns of association, unquote. Bryman, 1989. Fowler, 2009, defined and stated, quote, the purpose of the survey is to produce statistics, that is quantitative or numerical description of some of the aspects of the study population, unquote. While definitions slightly differ on focus, it is clear that mainstream definitions focus is on numerical and statistical characteristics. In summary, survey is one method of collecting, organizing and analyzing data. The relevant data can be collected by a variety of techniques. In many studies, it is appropriate to use a range of different methods. There are two kinds of survey, census and sample survey. The difference lies in the fact that the census collects information from all units of the population, while the survey sample collected is on the fraction of the unit of the population that is representative of the population. In both cases, the information collected is used to calculate statistics for the population as a whole and is usually for subgroups of the population. The main reason for selecting a sample survey over a census is that sample survey often provides a faster and more economic way of obtaining information of sufficient quality for the clients needed. Survey research is in harmony with mixed method approach of the 20th century as promoted by the mixed method researchers to name a few, Bergerman, Cresswell, Plano, Clark, Tashakori, and Terrell. D. Liu, 2005, noted that, quote, survey designers choose a mixed method approach because mixing method gives an opportunity to compensate for the weaknesses of each individual method at affordable cost, unquote. An interview includes two persons, the researcher as the interviewer and the respondent as the interviewee. There are several survey methods that utilize interviews. These are the personal or face-to-face -face interviews, the telephone interview, and more, most recently, the online interview. The advantages of the interview are follow-up questions can be asked, provides a better understanding of the answer of the respondents as it is more adaptable, and the disadvantages are time consuming, many target respondents have no public listed telephone numbers or telephones cannot be received. According to the span of time needed to complete the survey brings us to two different types of surveys, cross-sectional and longitudinal. Cross-sectional surveys are collecting information from the respondents at a single period in time uses the cross-section type of survey. It is usually utilized and asked through questionnaires about a particular topic at one point of time. For instance, a researcher conducts a cross-sectional survey asking teenagers views on cigarette smoking as of May 2015. Sometimes cross-sectional surveys are used to identify the relationship between two variables as in comparative study. An example of this is administering a cross-sectional survey about the relationship of peer pressure and cigarette smoking among teenagers as of May 2015. Coming to longitudinal surveys, when the researcher attempts to gather information over a period of time or from one point in time to another, he is doing a longitudinal survey. The aim of longitudinal surveys is to collect data and examine the changes in the data gathered. Longitudinal surveys are used in cohort studies, panel studies, and trend studies. Why do we select the survey method? Selecting the type of survey the researcher is going to use is one of the most critical decisions in many social research contexts. 
The success of conducting a research survey always involves choosing the most suitable survey method by means of balancing the pros and cons and considering other facts related to the survey method. In order to choose the best survey method for a particular survey project, you need to consider the following. First, population and sampling. Before you choose a survey method, you need to point out the characteristics of people who belong to your target population. Literacy level, language issues, geographic restrictions must be analyzed first. If the target population is composed of college students, you may choose the online survey method. However, if the target population is comprised of homeless people, online telephone or mail survey are not suitable. Rather, a personal interview survey is suitable. In terms of sampling issues, consider the number of respondents in the sample when choosing a survey method. Online survey are best for survey requiring a hundred or a thousand response, while telephone survey are ideal for 10 to 20 responses only. Number two, questions. The type of questions that will be asked matters in choosing the right survey method. A survey that asks mostly close-ended question needs paper and pencil survey, online survey or telephone survey, whereas a survey containing more open-ended question requires a focus group survey or a personal interview survey. The length and type of response scales to be used are also considered along the question type. Three, biases issue. One of the biases issue that you need to look at is social desirability. Many respondents might answer questions that make them look good even when their responses are not really true. Social desirability is a serious concern when conducting a personal interview survey or a focus group survey, but also be present in self-administered online or mail surveys. Another bias issue is when judgment may be created if the interviewer already has strong opinions about the topic and might not listen to what the respondent has to say. Personal interview makes sure that you get the response from a very person that is included in the sample. On the other hand, false respondents bias may be come into fore when using a mail survey or an online survey as it is more difficult to verify the person who really gave the response with these methods. Fourth, resources. Other factors that you need to look into or consider when choosing a survey method include the cost and budget for the survey, the facilities and equipments needed to conduct a process and the survey, the time allotted and the manpower the survey demands. Coming to certain facts about survey. Did you know that survey is a very old procedure? Survey was as old as the Old Testament. After the plague, the Lord said to Moses and to Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, take a census of all the congregations from the 20 upward old. Ancient Egyptian rulers conducted census for the purpose of administering their domain. Different survey methods used beyond India begin from the 19th century. Charles James Booth, an English philanthropist, a social researcher, had conducted a survey to document working class life in London at the end of the 19th century that influenced the government intervention against poverty. Karl Marx was one of the first to use survey in 1880 to determine the degree of exploitation of workers by employers. He mailed out 2,500 questionnaires. Weber carried out a survey with two questionnaires in February 1892 on the social situation of farm workers in eastern Germany. Second, a survey he carried out was on the working and living conditions of the workers in modern age large scale industries in 1908. Some surveys that have been conducted in India. The survey research method were first introduced in India mostly in the Department of Economics by American sociologists under the sponsorship of Ford Foundation in the 1950s. Later on, when reported of some city surveys began to appear, the established Indian sociologists reviewed them with signed comments. One example of such sociologist is Ramkrishna Mukherjee. D. N. Dhanagare conducted a survey on peasant protest and politics, the Tebhaka movement in Bengal, 1946-47, and was based on the primary field survey and secondary source. Professor Sujata Patel studied Muslim business communities through a survey conducted on families of these communities located in Bombay and Gujarat with a view to assessing the similarities and differences. To conclude, 
or summarize on survey. Survey is a methodology that social science research endeavors have been using since ages to organize in a methodical way data from a large population and to collect that data in a representative manner methodologically. Now, in using a survey, one can gain access to understanding the attitude, thought and feeling of a sample that represents the proportion and represents also the universe of study. Today, in the 21st century, survey has been become a part and parcel of many fields of life. It allows one to study the ultimate opinion and practices of everyday life. Take for example, sociologists or psychologists, they utilize survey to analyze behavior, while the media utilizes survey for a more pragmatic utility. They utilize survey to understand a political candidate before the elections. They also analyze the exit poll mandate. Survey is also utilized for product launch, also utilized for marketing as well as many other formats. Today we can say that because it is cost effective, 